This video is about microwave oven transformers and microwave oven capacitors and using the two together to get some fairly big arcs. First I'll show uh, a couple of arcs just with uh, the two MOTs in series and uh, no capacitors connected yet. Okay, here's a couple more arcs with just the MOTs, no caps. Well, let's change the setup. We're using two uh, MOTs in series, so now I will add two microwave oven capacitors in series and uh, try it again. I've changed the setup. Now there are two microwave oven capacitors wired in series. They are in series with the output of the two MOTs. So let's try this. Okay with two capacitors in series. The, the arc is more aggressive sounding this way. What I've done now is add a second set of two microwave oven capacitors in series. These new capacitors have been placed in parallel with the other two, so I essentially now have a one microfarad at 4 kV capacitor, whereas in the previous clip I had a one-half microfarad at 4 kV capacitance. Let's see what, if any, effect this increase in capacitance to one microfarad has. Yeah, let's give it a try. Ah, oh, the arcs appear much larger. For this last setup, I've taken another pair of microwave oven caps, put the two of them in series, and then put these two in parallel with the other uh, sets of capacitors. Let's see what this does. It'll be up to about a microfarad and a half at 4 kVAC now. Let's see what this does. Ah, wiring's a little too close. Well, reset up and try that again. Well, let's have a go again with a little better spacing. Again, pretty good arcs with the capacitors. This time, still with the six capacitors, I've got a clamp-on ammeter in the secondary side. Uh, it's got a fairly big screen, so it should show up uh, in the video. Let's uh, give the six capacitor two MOT arcs a try again. Ah, I 
think I was seeing nearly 2.4 amps sometimes on there. Interesting. I've taken one power of capacitors away. We're down to four in series parallel. The uh, clamp on ammeter is there. Uh, let's uh, let's try with just four caps to get a, uh, a current reading. Okay, set. Power on. Four caps. Seems to draw a wee bit less current with the four. I think I saw a maximum of about 1.7 amps this time, as opposed to... Uh, nearly 2.4 amps with the six capacitors. So I'm going to take uh, another pair off and we'll uh, look at the current again with just two capacitors. Just two capacitors left in the circuit. Let's uh, check uh, the current with uh, just two. a small arc and a uh, maximum of uh, 700 MA, it appears. Much better with uh, the six capacitors and uh, nearly 2.4 amps on the secondary side. Thanks for watching and remember to always exercise extreme caution. If you do any experiments with this kind of high voltage, remember capacitors can store a charge even after they're disconnected. That charge can do severe harm or even be fatal. Microwave oven capacitors need a lot of uh, care and caution with them too. Please be careful if you... Uh, do this, and thanks very much for watching. There'll be more to come, as always.